2002 clock stoppers and it's um I'm not expecting much because it's a movie directed by Frax, Frax, Forks, Frax, fucking number one from Star Trek Generations. Star Trek Generations? Star Wars Generations? It's been a long time. Picard's bitch. Some of the stuff he does is quite good. Jonathan Franks, Forks, Forks, ah, oh, fuck nice. Um, he directs it and he does kiddie type programs. Like for people who do not want to think. Really, really base level programs. You're like, you know, this is A. Guess what comes next? Don't worry, you won't have to guess. It's B. Um, the story is like a sci fi type thing. It's a really old type story. But the three main people in it who are pretending to be school kids, um, they're all either in their late 20s or 30s pretending to be high school kids. Which would be fairly standard for American TV, except, of course, for the fact that these are not short people. It's okay if you get someone like, um, oh, what's her name? She played Willow in Buffy. She was in her late 20s when she did Buffy, but she was dinky. She, she could pass for a school kid sometimes. Whereas these people don't, because they're like six foot tall. Um... It's also a Nickelodeon film, so it's made for children. It's, and people get, people treat children in the past 25 years as if they're complete brain-dead fuckwits. As opposed to when I was a kid in the 70s growing up, where you were challenged intellectually by your programmes. Doctor Who in the 70s, they actually postulated theoretical science. And it made you think. You wanted to elevate yourself mentally. And but modern stuff is hillbilly TV. I mean, a bunch of I love Supernatural and some of The Walking Dead before it went completely anti white woke. All the stuff for the past 25 years is hillbilly TV, chav TV, whether it's Doctor Who, Supernatural, pretty much everything. It's all the heroes, heroines are all barely literate criminals. Not, to, not something you want to aspire to. But I'll give it a go, see how it goes, and I'll give it a go. So the black guy in his 30s, who is supposed to be a schoolboy, is perving on the other schoolgirl. Yeah, it's really, really... It's the sort of thing that you would think on the adult channel for porn, for adults to watch pay-per-view. But no, this is a Nickelodeon movie where people get to perv on schoolgirls as if it's normal. Okay, yeah, maybe it is normal. But you don't make it seem normal. You shouldn't make it acceptable for people to perv on school children. Mm -hmm. She's in her 30s. or No, she's 28 in this. But she's meant to be a fucking school kid. 20 years ago. And yet, this is when the brainwashing was kicking into gear when it comes to really nasty shit. Where they put things in movies for children to brainwash them. So here you got a quick clip of a... I don't know how old she is. I'm going to make the guess. She's about 10. I had a guess. Watching Black Gags the Rapper. Yeah. This is when the brainwashing starts, when they have children having this sort of crap on movies and TV. And they think, oh, that's what they're doing. I must copy. And now look at the world we have. Where white children can be gang raped by black people and nobody gets arrested. Yeah, it's a nice story, you know. Kid finds his daddy scientist science project and uses it and has fun. So far, there's no sign of any science fiction. Briefly at the beginning, but we're quite a way into the movie. I don't know how far, but I'm pissed off. Um, 20 minutes in, hour and 12 to go. I don't know if I'm going to make it. It's just, it's getting more and more woke. Like, you've got the little white girl watching gangster music on the, on the TV. That sure as fuck would not happen with a mum stood right there with a white bread family. And of course, you've got 
The other white guys, the main white guys, the big butch white guys with a beard in high school with dreadlocks. There wouldn't be allowed dreadlocks in American school, let alone... Yeah, it's just this woke shit, it just fucks me off.